It's amazing what words can do. How do you take the ideas, the basin, and whatever else has followed in the last 30 years, and whatever the hell cybernetics is all about, and I think of that helmsman with the control, the governor on the machine, I think I'm trying to hold it all down. I can tell you they want to spend more money than they should in Sacramento, the state capital. Those ideas are worth thinking about theoretically, but then trying to use it as some kind of mirror or lens to look at the, the practical challenges. And uh, we have a lot of challenges. How you want to look at it, uh, how drastic or how ominous or how excited you are, um, it's, it's pretty serious. I, I, maybe everybody thinks that. In every age, it's totally serious. This is where reflection happens. Reflection, uh, as Donald Sherman referred to it, the reflective practitioner, how professionals think in action. Think in action. According to the Oxford Dictionary, there is no difference in meaning between the two spellings. I would like to say that, following Schoen, that we will use CT for a more human type of activity. And one of the key um, reflective, uh, reflective uh, processes that we refer to is the eigenfunction, Heinz's eigenforms, and so on. Everyone here will be familiar with the notion that an observer takes a number. This is an observer in my world takes a number and puts it into a box and something happens, comes out, goes round and round. And if you have, for instance, divide by two and add one, then eventually you will get the number two in there unchanging. And what happens in this is that these remain unchanged, but something changes in the message going round. I would like to suggest that when human beings are involved in something like this, as for instance designers frequently are, something else happens. It is true that there is a sort of process going on between what someone's thinking about and the person doing the thinking. But leave me a moment. Let me do some thinking about this. And as a result of thinking about this, what I find is that I change the person I am. So my arrow doesn't come back to the same thing as left. When I change the person I am and look again, I see this differently. It doesn't have to be bigger, but I'll draw it this way just as a convention. And this coming back to me will come back to another me because I am changing and learning through this. So I wish to make that differentiation. I would like there to be a reflection and reflection. And I would like them to be differentiated in that way. I will end with a quote from Antonio Gramsci. Mm. That is pessimism of the intellect and optimism of the will. I don't know if that's cybernetic, but it comforts you when you can't quite see how the hell we're going to get from here to there. <laughs> <laughs>